Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. Tonight we're going to be doing a high proof battle with some big contenders. And I am a bit nervous because that's a lot of proof. Well, before you get into it, if you end up enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Follow us on Instagram at The Whiskey Row. And if you want to support us directly, do so on Patreon at patreon.com slash whiskey row. We got some cool benefits out there. And if you want any of our Whiskey Row merchandise, check it out at whiskeyrow.shop. So what we have is we have the five highest bourbons that I have as far as I know. And I, I, I could have messed up. And if so, apologies. But this is a good sample. Recently, I got a hold of an old Carter. You all know that I've wanted an old Carter for a very, very long time. It's old Carter batch two coming in at 139.2 proof. This is batch two. I got this uh, with the help from Keith in New York. He helped me get a hold of this one. I'm very, very excited to try it tonight. Never even opened it. I recently filmed the haul video, although this may go out before the haul video. So if you didn't know, I ended up getting a Woodford Reserve batch proof coming in at 128.3 proof. This is a Stag 15 coming in at 131 proof. We also have an Elijah Craig barrel proof. This is the highest barrel proof Elijah Craig that I have uh, coming in at 132.8. This is the C920. Back in the early days of the channel, I did a, a high proof video and it was the five highest proof bourbons that I had at that point. And the winner of that was this bottle. It's a single barrel, uh, barrel proof Jack Daniels coming in at 129.2 proof. Again, I'm a little bit nervous because all these things are coming in above 120. 8.3. This is the high. This is the lowest one. This Woodford Reserve bat, batch proof. Got to get these things opened up. Now this Woodford Reserve batch proof is actually part of their Masters collection. The only other Masters collection that I have is the chocolate malted rye. I think it came out last year, and that was a disaster. So hopefully this is better than that. This one should just be a fairly close to a standard Woodford Reserve, but hopefully richer and deeper and higher proof and stronger concentration of flavors. We'll see. But we're going to pop that here in a minute. Let's get this old Carter open. Actually, almost sad to open this old Carter. So each Glencairn is labeled with the name of the particular bourbon on the bottom. And then I'm going to throw one and a half ounces of each into the appropriate glass. Ooh, that's a pretty good one, Woodford. Whoa. Spilled a little on my thumb, but I don't think any got up. I don't think any got on the table, so that's pretty good. Oh, make room for some old Carter. All right, we now have the Glen Cairns filled with one and a half ounces in each. So before we move the bottles, I think the outcome is going to be number one is old Carter. I have such high hopes for this. I hope I'm not let down. And we will find out in a minute. But I think Old Carter is going to be number one. I think number two is going to be the Stag Junior. I love Stag. It's just so good to me. This particular batch 15. I just love it. Third, I think it's going to be the Jack Daniels because of how well it did in the last uh, high proof battle that I did. And then fourth, I think it's going to be the Woodford Reserve Masters Collection Batch Proof. And then fifth place, the Elijah Craig C920. All of these are amazing heavy hitters, hopefully. These two I've never had, so it's hard to say. The, this particular single barrel Jack Daniels barrel proof is amazing. Stag 15 is really, really good. C920 is really good from Elijah Craig. I am very excited for this battle. We're going to move the balls. We're going to start moving things around. And we're going to get started. This is the first time I've done a blind by myself in quite a while. I've been doing those double blinds with Jamie so much lately. I'm out of practice. So now I've got to remember how to mix it all up. <laughs> All right, they're sufficiently mixed up. I don't know which any of them are. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, let me pull out my water and my crackers to help break up the flavors. Oh, this this um, this smells amazing. I don't know what this I'm I don't know what this is, but it smells so good. This is like creme brulee with some vanilla, maybe a touch of herbal, touch of black pepper underneath. The proof is obviously high. You can smell that. It smells just perfectly balanced and so good. All right, let's give it a try. On the palate, there's a lot of proof. <laughs> You're going to hear that a little bit tonight. On this one, it just kind of explodes into your mouth with proof and like herbalness and some black pepper. There's a good sweetness to it, but it's not as pronounced as on the nose. The nose was just so dessert sweet. 
on the palate, it's very rich and thick with a little bit of some vanilla with almost a hint of butterscotch. There's a little bit of an oak characteristic, a little bit of wood. It's really, really good. The nose was absolutely amazing. The, the flavor of this was a step down from the nose. The nose was just fantastic. The proof on this is it doesn't, it's not there on the nose at all. The first one, the proof is almost overpowering, but it was just so deliciously the smelling that, that you could just get past the proof. This, the proof's not there. This is just very mellow. There's a good caramel smell, hint of clove, teeny, teeny, teeny little bit, and a touch of herbal. It's a nice kind of almost berry on the nose too, like a, a red a red berry, hint of raspberry maybe. Very faint though, very, very faint. Very much reminds me of like a, of a high proof rye, except much sweeter. So at the, at the first, there's like this very rye, fruity, grape explosion a blackberry grape kind of thing explosion and then it kind of fades into this very very rich brown sugar and honey sweetness the finish on this is just very very long and consistent it's like you you get that explosion and then it just like it's just just consistent and then just slowly fade so uh, obviously the old carter and the woodford reserve are neck pours like brand new open bottles the stag's been open for maybe four or five months. The Jack Daniels, maybe seven or eight months. The Elijah Craig, maybe four or five months. So they are all, and they're all about half bottle. So they all have had a good chance to open up and to give really the full flavor experience, but not turn. With the Woodford and the Old Carter, you know, they are neck poor. So there may be a little bit more like of an opening up and a mellowing that needs to take place. But we're, we're going to see how they do tonight. Between each one, I'm eating crackers and drinking water just to kind of flush the flavors. Wow, that smells amazing. That is like a caramel and maple syrup explosion. Touch of herbal, touch of clove, hint, ever so subtle, teeny bit of mint almost. And like a little bit of a cherry. This smells so well balanced. This smelled like dessert. This smells like a, like a perfectly balanced bourbon. This smells so good. This takes me to a very happy place. Just on the nose, this takes me to a happy place. Don't know what it's going to taste like, but on the nose, this is this is amazing. On this, I'm getting like a raspberry with some vanilla, some herbal, a lot of black pepper. There's a good burn. The tingly palate thing is really strong on this one. It's got a really good mouthfeel and a solid finish. I'll be honest with you guys. I feel like I've gone to bourbon heaven tonight. These, this, so far, these first three, they're just amazing. All three of them. I don't know what I'm going to pick. I may, I may have needed to pour more. So once I go through the initial tastings, and I actually, you know, off camera, I'm essentially tasting them all and trying them all, putting them side by side and back and forth and trying different things. And usually it kind of comes together and an ounce and a half is enough for me to figure out, you know, one through five. Tonight, I don't know if one and a half is going to be enough because from the first three, those first three were all amazing. Holy cow. This is like creme brulee with a lot of caramel. Almost like a caramel sundae. This smells so good. This is the first time that I've ever had four bourbons in a row in a blind where all four of them were just amazing smelling. This fourth one smells so good. There's a very subtle fruitiness on this one underneath all that sweetness. And just a hint of that high proof. So this is the first one that I've tasted where kind of let me down. On the nose, this smells absolutely fantastic i mean i can't say enough about the nose but on the palate there's it's very heavy on clove up front with a strong sweetness but it's got a, a pronounced clove so it's like clove with then the, underneath that there's some caramel almost like a toasted marshmallow kind of thing underneath that it's a lot of black pepper i'm feeling right now and obviously proof i'm getting a little bit of a hug on that one the finish fades on the palate, but the sensation from the pepper and the proof and the hug, they're still going and they're going strong on this one. I mean, this is the fourth one of these high proofs and it's the first one that's actually given me a hug. At first, the clove was almost overpowering as it you know, got a couple sips into that one. The clove faded a little bit and then it left this very, very good kind of caramel toasted marshmallow spice. The third sip was much better than the first sip. 
Okay, it's official. All five of these smell amazing. Every single one of them. It's like a good blend of vanilla and caramel with a hint of black pepper and some clove. Touch of herbal. A little bit of like a blackberry and some oak. Very well balanced. Some of these are sweeter. Some of these are what more balanced. All of five of them smelled amazing. This one actually, oh, I picked up some nut on that one. Wonder which one of them has a little bit more nuttiness. So that one has some peanut with some caramel, hint of vanilla. This is almost like a peanut butter and jelly, like peanut butter and grape jelly. A good black pepper. It's got a strong, a dense finish. A lot of flavor there, still going. Doesn't fade quick. All right, we've gone through them once, and these five smelled, every single one of them smelled amazing. And they all were pretty darn good tasting, too. So this is going to be a very hard competition, especially proof-wise. So bear with me. That said, when we come back, we will put them on pedestals, and then we'll figure out which one's which. This was one of the hardest competitions that I have ever done. Every one of these is fantastic. I would go through, and number five, I would put up against number one and be like, whoa, those are really close. And then number five, I'd put against number four, and I'd be like, oh, those are really close. Number five. Number four. Number three. Number two. Number one. So that's the outcome for tonight. I don't know which is which yet. Um, like I said, they were all amazing. Like... This is the first time I've ever had a five-way blind, and none of them were not exceptional. These were all exceptional bottles, which is surprising to me because I, in the past, I haven't loved the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's good. I mean, it's nothing wrong with it, but I haven't loved it. And all of these, I could literally drink any night. They're amazing. These were all so good to me. Number five, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Number four. Jack Daniels, number three, Woodford Reserve, number two, ooh, Stag, Stag Jr., batch 15, and number one, Old Carter. Okay, cool. So Old Carter lived up to my expectations. This 139-proof beast, it doesn't taste like 139 proof. This thing comes in hot, but it's got this very light, fruity sweetness. And the proof is there, but it's not overpowering at all. This is a very accessible 100 and almost 140 proof bottle. This was well, well worth the buy. Stag obviously uh, performed very well. And Stag is always a consistent performer for me. The flavors changed on this bottle, but it never came across as like a very fruity, rye heavy thing and now it, it is so the bottles kind of changed a little bit but it's still very very good the woodford reserve batch proof this bottle is quite quite good of the five bottles tonight i would say it is definitely the most bold and spicy <laughs> the elijah craig is very much like the woodford where it barely it has this very bold characteristic this c920 at least the way my bottle has turned out Anyway, this was a really fun competition. It was a very difficult competition. All that said, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Follow us on Instagram at The Whiskey Row. And support us on Patreon if you feel like it at patreon.com slash whiskey row. Check out our t-shirts and flask and glassware and lighters at whiskeyrow.shop. And until next time, <laughs> find a bottle you love.